What's up, Guerreros? How are you guys doing? Today, we're going to talk about, you know, how your significant other, you know, either or, are giving you a hard time when you're seeking growth, when you're starting a journey, whether if it's bettering yourself, whether if it's working out to uh, get a certain look. It's always the intention behind it. This this goes both ways, you know, because I'm not going to take no sides because a lot of people, especially, you know, some of my clients, you know, that start their journey, you know, it all starts good at the beginning. But throughout the journey, you know, the other person that's not doing the same thing that you're doing starts feeling insecure, starts giving you uh, problems, start throwing you some little fucking uh, cheap shots so you could fucking uh, pretty much get into it, get into it. And, and a lot of people end up quitting. A lot of people end up getting sick and tired of just arguing and they uh, stop on their goals. They, they stop on pursuing what they wanted. Why? Because they throw in the towel, because they give up too easy. So you gotta understand that if your intentions is to better yourself, better your family, the other party has to understand that why wouldn't you want your man to become better? Why wouldn't you want your man to look better, feel better, you know, start uh, becoming more positive, more committed, more disciplined, you know, having that confidence to go out there and fucking grind hard for his family? You know, that's where a lot of people don't understand, you know, the, the only reason why I think and I've been in both sides of the spectrum because when you don't do shit, you're still going to fucking hear it. And when you're fucking working up to two, three jobs, you're still going to hear it. It's them if you do and them if you don't. So you got to understand that. I've been throughout fucking ups and downs throughout my whole years of me being with my lady. And let me tell you that it's not going to change, you know, it's not going to be fucking rainbows either or whether you're going to be lazy in the couch and not just give her the full attention. It, there's going to be problems whether you're grinding and becoming the number one hustler and your fucking family and providing for them you're going to fucking hear it so you got to understand that when you're seeking to better yourself they're not in the same level of growth that you are they're they haven't clicked yet they don't want to you know so they don't want to pursue what you're pursuing so it's going to become a conflict throughout your journey like i said you got to understand that and the key here is not giving up, not tapping out. See that as a test and uh, try to overcome uh, it. And they have to understand. They have to come to an agreement and they have to come to an understanding that, you know, they, they shouldn't be fucking trying to uh, put you down. That, that's the key here. The key here is just you got to let them know that, you know what, you're not going to quit. You're going to have the patience to keep pursuing. But at the same time, you know what? A lot of times, go about it the way that, that you feel I'm going about it. You know, don't fucking worry about what they're thinking, what their assumptions that they're making, you know, because you're going to the gym. Uh, there's going to be a lot of fucking problems that I hear uh, here and there, you know, with my clients or when I get on the phone. A lot of times I don't even understand when I'm talking to people, they're uh, telling me that a, um, they got to ask their lady and see uh, if it's okay to, you know, sign up on the program and, and get coached and you know, I mean, to each their own, you know, you're going to do what you got to do, you know, but how the fuck do, is that right? You know, where you got to ask for permission to fucking uh, invest in yourself so you could uh, feel better, so you could uh, start providing uh, more for your family to build that confidence. I really don't get that, you know, but the way I did it is that, you know, when I started my journey, I was ready to fucking commit. And uh, if they want to commit, hey, I was willing to fucking pay for hers too, you know? So that's how you gotta be, you know? Always offer them, you know? Hey, let's, you know, come in together. We're gonna be a power couple. We're gonna fucking strive to become better. But yeah, bring your significant other. It always works better. Because a lot of times when you start your journey, like I said, you're gonna uh, come across a lot of ups and downs. And you just gotta stick to the plan. Don't deviate from your fucking goals. See that as a test. And they gotta understand because like I said, if the intention behind it is to better you, to better your family for positive and your future state of well-being for the whole family, then they shouldn't, it, sh it shouldn't be a problem. You know, I hope that shit fucking helps and I hope you guys don't, you know, get that through your head. Like I said, both parties, vice versa, because a lot of times the females, they get it too. 
where they're the head of household, you know? Believe it or not, hey, some of them are, you know? And the men have to play fucking daddy daycare, so uh, same thing, you know, they wanna strive and they're, they're getting paid more, they wanna fucking work out because they release stress by working out, by eating better. And now the, this other guy sees that shit as a threat, you know? You start building insecurity, you know? But fuck that shit, you know? You gotta stick to their fucking goals and uh, like I said, you know, run that motherfucker in, let's go.